Welcome! In this session, we will learn to construct a gradient boosting model with the XGBoost package. XGBoost stands for Extreme Gradient Boosting, and according to the package author Twinkie Chen, the name XGBoost actually refers to the engineering goal to push the limit of computation resources for boosted free algorithms. So the first thing that we are going to do is to install the package XGBoost. So we are going to write install packages XGBoost. I have already installed this package, so I'm not going to press enter, but you have to, if you have it. So uh, now we are going to put the, the, to put the package in our library, library XGBoost. So now we have the package in our library. And now we have to create, uh, we already have the, um, the training and testing data sets, but we have to put them in the format of XGBoost. So we are going to create the variable training.x, which will be equal to model.matrix, model.matrix. And the first uh, parameter will be the formula. So you write retaining uh, retaining or retained retain it in 2020 this is the dependent variable alt 126 this is like the equal a point to sign that we have to use all the independent variables less than group state to be consistent with the previous model that we have created. And the second parameter will be the data set. In this case, data equals to training. So we press enter. And now we have the training.x variable in our global environment as we can see here. Now let's uh, create the second variable testing.x. Testing.x. Practically we are creating here like the formula and also signaling to which data set it has to be, uh, I would say, assigned. So we write model matrix retain it in 2020 at 126 a point to symbolize that we want to use all the independent variables less than group state to be consistent with the previous models and then we said that we want to use this formula on the um, testing data set so we press enter When you double click on the variable training, uh, you can observe that all the factors have been transformed to uh, binary variables. As you can see, so program codes becomes program code CD, program code CN. All of these are the factors, are the levels of program code. And then it has assigned a zero and a one to all the variables. That's how uh, XGBoost uh, requires the data. Now let's create the model of XGBoost. So we write model XGB equals to the function XGBoost of the package XGBoost. And we are going to write uh, six parameters. The first two are uh, related to the data. So we write first data equals to data matrix then we are going to write data dot matrix parenthesis training dot x and we are going to select all the rows and all the columns minus the first one because in the first one there was the intercept and we don't want that variable shift enter to go to the other line label 
equals to as dot numeric we're going to transform all the variables to numeric and as character and then we are going to give or provide all the data from the training data set training we are giving here the i'm sorry we are giving here the um, dependent variable Then we are providing to the model, I would say, the success cases. So the variables, the zero and one that we want to predict. Chief enter. And now we have to provide uh, four parameters or three parameters in one function object. The first parameter is the parameter eta. The default of this parameter is 0 0.3 and it can uh, get a range from 0 to 1. And this parameter controls the learning rate, namely the rate at which our model learns patterns in data. After every round, it shrinks the feature weights to reach the best optimum. Lower ETA leads to a slower computation. It must be supported by increase in n rounds. Typically, it lies between 0.01 and 0.3. We are going to use uh, an eta of 0 0.1, 0 0.1 in our case, eta equals to 0. The next parameter is max uh, def, and we will set it as 20. Let's see what this max def is. So max def has a default value of 6 and and can be and can get a value from zero to infinite. It controls the depth of the tree. Larger the depth, more complex the model. Higher chances of overfitting with a complex model. There is no standard value for max depth. Larger data sets require deep trees to learn the rules from data. So we have set this uh, max depth to 20 in our model. We are setting these parameters, but as a, an assignment, you will have to change and play with this parameter to get a better model. The next parameter will be n round. We will set this parameter in, as 50, and let's see what uh, n round is. So the default value of n round is 100, and this parameter controls the maximum number of iterations. For classification, it is similar to the number of trees. To so this is the number of trees that we are going to use in our model, 50 trees. And finally, we are going to set the objective of our model. In a specific case, we are as we are uh, uh, practically we are doing a classification model of two variables, zero and one. That's why we're retaining in 2020 variable as as value. We are going to use a binary logistic model. But in XGBoost will allow you to create different types of models. You can create a regular linear regression model, a binary logistic, a multi softmax, which is a multi classification using softmax objective. And in this case, it returns the predicted class labels. And a multi soft probe. In this case, it is also a multi classification using softmax objective, but in this case, it returns predicted class. So I'm going to press enter. And it starts training the model, as you can see. And we have created the model. In the next session, we will predict the retained groups and construct the confusion matrix. Thanks for watching.